Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a pretty quick update video. Two days ago I published my review of the AKK Dominator VTX and there were a lot of complaints regarding my results. So what I've done is to redo the power test and this time I used a different pigtail connector. The one I used in this video is the same one that was included with the TBS Unify Pro 32 VTX. And I actually thought that I used the same one when I tested the AKK Dominator, but actually I was wrong and I used the one that was provided with the VTX. So in order to make this test valid, now I'm going to use this connector, which I think that works pretty well. And as you're about to see, this pigtail improved the results. So it's of course important to pay attention to the pigtail that you're using. And I also tested a couple of other pigtails and I think that this is the one that performed the best. In addition, if possible, I recommend to connect the VTX antenna directly to the VTX. So now I'm going to repeat the power test again and the frequency I'm going to use is the same one like before, 5740. And I did test also 5860, which is F7 because I was told the VTX might perform better using this frequency. But I can tell you that the results using this specific VTX are about the same. Now the VTX is set to 250 milliwatts and I'm getting around 160 milliwatts. Since the immersion on CRF meter can handle only up to 30 dBm maximum output power, I used a 10 dB attenuator and inside the menu of the immersion on CRF meter you can set its value. So I also set this value to zero and tested the VTX when the output strength was set to 250 milliwatts. And as you can see, the results are about the same. When the VTX is set to 500 milliwatts, I'm getting around 360 milliwatts. When the VTX is set to 1000 milliwatts, I'm getting around 600 milliwatts. Finally, when the VTX is set to 2 watts, I'm getting around 1.6 watts on 5740. And on 5860, I'm getting around 1.7 watts. So overall, in this test, the measured values were significantly better, especially when the VTX was set to 2000 milliwatts. And I do think that the VTX performed pretty well on my field test. However, I had to release this video in order to make amends because I did make a mistake and I'm going to make sure that on my next test, it's not going to happen again. Now I have a small personal note I had a couple of nasty comments on my previous video and I would like to ask everybody to try to stay on a more positive side because after all we are just here to have fun and mistakes happen and if they do just let me know and I will do my best to correct them. As always I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.